don't starve your husbands, okay? Especially if he's a pastor. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We want to come to church. And we want to hear a Holy Ghost fell minister who is doing the right thing to lay his hands on us. We don't want a minister who his wife has totally isolated herself from him sexually and he got to go out there and make and bust some desperate moves. You know what? Especially if you're a pastor wife, you better do what you need to do and keep our pastor right with God. We don't need our pastor going out there and committing adultery, okay? He got a wife. You know how them pastors ready to preach and be like, I'm so happy I got a wife. And they be like, sweetheart, get up, wave. And we be like, oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love the pastor wife. She's so pretty. You know, them pastors don't like ugly women. They pick some really nice women. You stand up with your nice self and everybody proud of the pastor's wife. She is looking all decent with the missionary skirt, makeup, you know, everything looking all smooth. We proud our pastor got a wife. And then you go home, you're not supposed to, you're not doing what you're supposed to do for our pastor to remain on track and focus on the things of God. God forbid, God, I'm going to punish you. God, I'm going to punish you. Thunder fire should strike you. Consuming fire will burn you. If you're a pastor wife and you're doing that, you need deliverance, okay? We need a man of God to stay on track and lead the church. Okay, we need him. We need him right to lead us, okay? So I beg you, all y'all married folks, please take care of your man. Please take care of those desires, okay? Take care of it, okay? Don't 